quite strange and I, I really don't know what to make of this last trip. It was a very, very long trip and it just did not last that long. And well, it happened about seven, eight minutes ago. And so let me just, let me just get right into it. Um, so I had been laying there for, I don't know, it was quite some time. Again, I didn't know it was coming. And when it hit, when I felt that, that feeling of motion, <laughs> sometimes it's so fast that I laugh. I just, I laugh inside because I'm like, oh my God. And I, I feel like I'm laughing out loud because I'm moving so quickly. And this trip did last for quite some time. I mean, I was going and going and going and going. And then finally I started to slow down. And of course, then there was darkness. And slowly that darkness uh, lifted. And I was in a house and I was laying down. It was, you know, it's interesting. I was laying on the floor, I think. I was under a blanket. And it was it was dark in this place. Now, sometimes I come into places and when I arrive, it's light. You know, and that to me, for whatever reason, it seems that my orientation when I arrive in a place where it's light is better than when I arrive when it's dark. And that is simply because I have to kind of in my mind think, okay, I'm not in my apartment anymore. I am someplace else. This was fairly simple because when I opened my eyes, there was either a little boy or a little girl I would, I would venture to say it was a little girl and she was sitting on a chair, like an easy chair. And I sat up and I said, hello. And I think she said hello back to me. Now, I, I don't remember. Oh my gosh, I remember so little of this. And again, sometimes these trips are so fast. This was very, 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 very brief. There were trophies. Now, I did an episode once where I was in a place where there were trophies and I was floating around in this place. This, again, was a place where there were only a few trophies, not a lot of them. And I sat up and I picked up one of the trophies, I think. And I was, I think I was asking her a very silly question, which is why I think I returned so quickly. I believe I was asking her whose trophies these were. Now, of course, if I came into this situation, and I, I do believe with the beyond body experiences, I'm coming into another reality where I exist and I'm living a life. If that's true, that I'm living a life here with this, I think it was a little girl. By the way, let me give a little, a brief description. I think the little girl had short blonde hair. I, I couldn't really look at her face because I was looking at her um, from a side view is that's what it felt like. It was a side view and I wasn't able to look at her straight in the face. So I would, I'm not able to give you a very specific dis description of her face. I just remember seeing it from the side and I have to tell you, I think, I think I was asking her dumb questions, <laughs> questions that I should know 
if I live there. And I, I, I think, again, that's that, that that is why I, I did not last that long with this one. I think I asked her something about the trophies. And then I said something else. And then I lost my grip. Suddenly I was back and I opened my eyes. I don't remember much else other than that. Wow. A very, very brief trip. But again, I know and I've heard from those of you who like me to share these experiences, even if they're really, really short. And this was a really, really short experience. And um, again, the trip lasted for such a long time. And I thought, wow, where am I going to go? Where am I going to end up? And I ended up in the, living it up in the living room of a house where I was laying down on the floor. And there was a kid that was sitting on a chair. And we were talking very briefly. And again, I think I was asking some pretty dumb questions because, well, I should know those things, right? Anyway, anyway, that's it. Um, if I have another experience, I will record it. And um, well, I'm hoping that the experiences will get a little longer and so I can give you more. But for now, that's what I have. That's all I can really tell you. Thank you so much for coming on another journey with me. Excuse my voice. It's very late and I was sleeping. It's like 2.30 in the morning. So thank you so much. And until next time, take care.